Do you have a YouTube channel and you want to start creating videos, but you don't know where to start? Or maybe you want to start creating videos for social media, but you'd rather not spend a ton of money on fancy equipment and expensive software. Well, InVideo is an online video editor that can help you with any of these scenarios. With InVideo, you can create professional quality videos in minutes, whether you're using one of their over 4,000 templates, their media libraries, or if you're starting from scratch. So first, let's start by taking a quick tour and seeing how InVideo works. Hey, welcome back everyone. To get started, use the link in the description below and the code ED25 for a 25% discount on InVideo. This is what the home page or dashboard is going to look like for you. So let's walk through this um, first before we get into creating the video. First and foremost, if you have not done it when you created your account, use this opportunity to go up to your profile image and then go down to brand presets so that you can upload your logo, set your brand colors, add in your handles for social media. And then the other thing that you can now do is you can add in your standard end clips which are short videos that will come at the end of all of your videos. When you're finished, you wanna make sure that you save. You don't have to do this ahead of time, but just know that you can do this. And in my example, I actually um, use one that I've uploaded or created using Canva, but know that you can actually create these end clips in in video as well and then you can add them here so it's totally up to you um, what you want to do so if we go back to the dashboard on the home page you then will have three different ways that you can create videos you can either use a pre-made template and they have well over 4500 uh, templates that you can choose from the next option is text to video so we're going to choose the last option, which is to start from scratch using a blank canvas. You can choose what your dimensions are going to be. So are you doing this for YouTube, in which case you need to do this widescreen or 16 by 9? Do you want to do this for um, an Instagram or Facebook or even LinkedIn posts that you want to use in the square dimension? Or do you want to use this for like IGTV or um, stories with the vertical um, format. So you can definitely read through NVIDIA's tips and tricks. I would definitely read through these. Otherwise, you can just click on the blue button that says make a video. And this will take you to NVIDIA's editor. So on the editor, the first thing that you'll see up here is it says project ID and then there is a seven digit number. But I would recommend that you come up here and you actually type in the name of your video first. Next over here, you will see that it says resize. So after you've created your video, let's assume that this is a video that you're doing for YouTube, but you're also going to want to do a shorter version or even the same length in a different format because you want to upload it to LinkedIn or to Facebook or where wherever. After you've finished creating your video, you can certainly come to resize, choose the alternative size, and then you'll see that it will duplicate and resize. Then you can go into that project and you can edit it however you need to. And notice this is in beta. You have your undo and redo um, arrows. Every time you do something in your project, it gets saved. So you don't have to worry about uh, manually remembering to save it. And then last, you have your download and share button that allows you to download your project or share it directly from within InVideo. So over here on the left side, this is the left side panel that contains all of the assets that you would need for all of your projects starts with this is where you can get access to your templates so even though we actually started with a blank canvas you can still actually insert templates from within this tab right here 
If you want to manually upload any content from your computer, you can do so here. And I will let you know that once you've added your end clips under your brand presets, they will appear here automatically. So anything that you have uploaded will automatically appear here. Video allows you to get access to all of the stock footage that NVIDIA has, which is a lot. So there's a lot to choose from and you get access to the paid stock like from iStock and Premium Media if you upgrade your subscription. If you don't, you'll have access to the ones that don't have any sort of um, asterisk or what have you. So as you can see, it says get this media and millions more with NVIDIA's paid plan. So these identify clips that you can get access to on your paid and then the ones that don't um, have anything, then you'll have to uh, just have access to that or you can still upload your own at the end of the day. Same goes for all of your images. Um, they have access to stock images as well. I don't know if they have any, they probably have some free. Here's one free. So they do have some free. You can see all of the free that they would have if you just deselect that. And then you can see all of the choices that you would have if you um, do not or choose not to upgrade. Then we have stock music and it's categorized by genre. You can choose by mood. You can look for sound effects and then they have miscellaneous. Text allows you to add any sort of text that you want to on your screen. And then they have some text styles that you can choose from as well. This is where you would find the logo that you would upload that represents your company because it would be the logo that is going to be featured throughout your video if you want to have this watermark on your video. Now, just before I jump too far ahead, this logo here is because the example that I'm working from here is from within the free account and the free account always includes NVIDIA's watermark. If you do not want to have their watermark here, you would have to remove the watermark by upgrading your account. Folder represents how you can organize all of your media and content by folders. And then when you de or select that arrow button, it will reveal some more options that you have, which includes stickers that you may want to add, especially if you want to do any call to actions, if you want to just sort of poke fun or just make your videos a little bit um, more entertaining, you can certainly add these stickers. Overlays just give you the ability to change the look and feel of your video. If you want it to be a little grungy or if you want confetti to float, to float down, whatever it may be. If you want some kind of a smoke effect, things of that nature. Shapes, also additional things that you may want to add into your videos along with masks and then collages. And then if you want to be able to fetch a tweet or a post into your video, you can do so through um, clicking on here to connect your Twitter account that can pull a tweet for you to be able to use. On the bottom, is where you would be able to chat to support if you need any assistance. Over to the right side of your screen is everything to do with the layers that are going to be on the canvas itself. First and foremost, you can change your canvas color if you wish by clicking here and you can easily change the color of your canvas. We'll keep it black for now. And then over to the right, you can see that these all pertain to the layers that are going to be down here. You can trash it, you can put it to the back, bring it to the front, front paste, copy, um, and do all of those things. If you need to set a grid on the screen so that you can lay things out properly, you can certainly 
um, do that and you can see the grid in action there. This little icon here um, is what you would use if you, once you've actually added everything to your canvas and then you wanted to make sure that everything in regards to pixels was accurate, then you would run this and this sort of just does. I can do it now, but it's not really going to do much, but it analyzes and just lets you know that yes, your scene is perfect with regards to pixels. And then down here is where you will have your timeline. So this is where, let's open this up a little bit more. This is where all of your media, once you've dragged it on here, is going to be found. Okay, so to get started, the first thing that we need to do is upload some footage. So I am going to upload, I'm going to go to my folder here and I'm going to upload a bunch of clips of some footage that I've already taken. So while I speed up the footage, I'm going to right now just add in all of my clips onto the timeline in order of appearance. I actually numbered all of my clips 1 through 10 and so I'm now putting them onto the timeline and I'm checking also for timing so if I need to extend the clips a little bit I can do that. Additionally, I am bringing in my intro that I'm going to insert in the video and I'm actually trimming that as well. And now I forgot to put my end clip in my brand presets, which I just did right there. And now I've deleted the duplicate and I've added that on. And I'm also quickly going through my transitions just to kind of see if I need to change any. And there are a couple areas that I'm going to change, but I am going to share with you what this looks like a little bit later on. So now I'm actually looking at a sequence that I may want to crop just so that I can have a different take on just having the same mundane headshot throughout. And I probably in a little bit will go through a couple others and I might do that to a, a couple other um, ones, but for now I'm just doing it to this one. So I've cropped this. Now I just go back to the timeline and let's just sort of see how things look. So I'm checking this, seeing how NVIDIA works. Transition. Thanks for and now I've just realized seeing that how I NVIDIA actually works. need to have Thanks for watching. Um, an extra scene. So I'm going to add in a blank scene and this scene is actually going to be this video that I'm actually creating right now, um, which is the screen recording portion of the video. So I'm just putting basically a template um, in here that's just going to say actually insert screen recording here so that I have it on my timeline and ready to drop in when I'm ready. Now I think for the screen recording, I'm also going to want to make sure that that transitions in and out a little bit differently as well. So I'm going to look for some transitions to see which one makes the most sense for this particular clip. The rewind isn't bad. But I don't think I don't think I want to use the rewind. Let's see what mm. else they have. Nope. Oh, the film roll down. Okay, I like those. So let's add this one for my out, and that's it. So I now have my transitions added. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.